Hey Roanoke, we're back with the latest edition of Noke News. I'm Carol Corbin and I'm bringing you some of the good things happening around the city of Roanoke. April's almost over and by the time you see this, the Wasina Bridge is going to be closed. Those first few weeks are gonna feel long, adjusting to the detours and reestablishing traffic flows, but this two-year project is gonna be done before we know it. Let's go ahead and kick things off with a recap of the community-driven event that said farewell to this 85-year-old bridge behind me. Thousands of neighbors from all corners of the city and the Roanoke Valley made their way to Wasina for a community gathering with food from local Wasina restaurants, live music, and a fun way to mark the occasion with a Make Your Mark art event, allowing attendees to chalk their mark along the edges of the bridge itself. The Bridge Bonanza highlighted the spirit of Roanoke's community and was a sweet way to send off the 85-year-old bridge. So this event is really for the Neighborhood Forum to celebrate the bridge. Uh, they're, very they're very much looking forward to when it's over, um, but you know, it's going to be a rough couple years, so we wanted to give them something to celebrate and be happy about you know, in the meantime. So we're trying to highlight some of the businesses that are downtown also, and uh, we've got like a vendor fair set up here, yeah, yeah, all kinds of activities for kids and families. Also on April 13th, the second annual Daisy Art Parade made its way through downtown Roanoke. Organized by local artist Brian Cunahan, the Daisy Art Parade is an intentional community building strategy through art. Individual groups called crews donned themed costumes and large puppets, bringing art to life in downtown Roanoke. I think there's a lot of creativity and it offers creativity at a very professional finish level where people would spend six months making something. Um, but it also appeals to little kids who can just paint their face, wear a hat. I've had little kids really get involved in some, some very kind of complicated puppetry making activities just because they wanted to figure that out. And then the parade gives them an opportunity to show it off and it gives you a date when it has to be done. Those are two things I think are really important to motivate people. The City of Roanoke celebrates National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week to bring well-deserved attention and recognition to the men and women who are an invaluable part of public safety. Last year, Roanoke City dispatchers handled more than 200,000 incoming emergency and non-emergency calls. They are the first first responders, obtaining information and providing, at times, life-saving instruction until field responders arrive. Thank you, Roanoke City Communications Officers. City of Roanoke also celebrated Roanoke Valley Saves Week this April as part of America Saves Week 2024, encouraging the community to prioritize financial well-being and take control of their financial futures. During Roanoke Valley Saves Week, Bank on Roanoke Valley offered residents resources and support, including educational tools, free programs, and financial incentives. Essentially, we just want to make sure that folks have the financial resources so that they are able to save towards important things such as emergencies, such as retirement, um, just so people can feel a little bit more confident in their day-to-day -day lives and having a little bit more in the bank. Um, and it's important because we know that financial stability and wellness is tied to all sorts of other types of wellness in life too. If you can't get enough of what's happening around Roanoke, get ready for Roanoke Public Library's festival season. On April 27th, you can go green for Grandin at the Raleigh Court Branch Library. And in May, we'll have festivals at Belmont and Gainsborough Branch Libraries, following up in June with the Ride and Read at Williamson Road Branch Library. But that's a wrap for me. I'm Carol Corbin, this is Noak News, and I'll see you next time.